Hey, my name is Jasmine Hupp and I help women market themselves online. Today I'm going to teach you how to write the first sentence of your bio. That's right, it's the most important sentence. It sets the whole structure up and most importantly it decides whether or not someone's actually going to listen to, whether they're going to actually try and understand the rest of your bio. You've got to hook them with that first sentence. So whether this is your professional bio, say for a website where you're going to be a board of directors, or you're even talking about your social media bio on Instagram. These will be the eight templates that you can use to kick off your bio in a strong, clear, evocative way so that you can attract the perfect partners to you and you don't have to search for those folks. Those folks are going to be magnetized to you with your strong, clear, evocative writing. So stick with me. I've got eight templates for you, eight different ways to start your bio. And if you stay till the end, I will also give you as a bonus tip, six questions you need to answer in the first paragraph of your bio in order to have a really strong, attractive biography. If you're looking at your bio, the first thing that you wanna ask yourself is where is this bio appearing? What is the context that folks are gonna be coming to your biography? with and from um, and who are you trying to attract to you honestly you know so many of us are multi-dimensional we do so many different things we could have a biography that goes on and on and on about so many different specialties what you need to do right now is narrow it down to focusing on what are the threads that you're trying to pull towards you right now who are the type of people you're trying to attract into your life how are you trying to show up in the world and attract professional resources and maybe personal friends and, and, and chosen family as well? And so having a really clear bio and a really clear first sentence is going to help you in attracting those people to you. So let's get right in to the eight different templates, the eight different ways that you could start your biography. What is your first sentence? So the first style is traditional style. And that would be simply saying, Jasmine is an entrepreneur, using terms that people are familiar with, uh, very simply just stating you are something that someone is familiar with. Great first sentence, no problem. Second most popular style I like to call traditional with purpose. That means we're still using terms that everyone's kind of familiar with, professions that we're all familiar with, of course. What you're going to do is to add a little bit of twist, to add a bit of uh, interest, to add a bit of the flavor that you're looking to impart in your bio. You're going to say what your purpose is with that traditional job. So example here is Jody is an accountant who supports solo entrepreneurs to stop stressing about their finances. Next, the third popular first sentence template for your bio is what I call, I'm three shades of the same thing. If you do something that's pretty unique or not as readily talked about, maybe uses a lot of words that people don't know commonly, you can describe kind of the core of who you are, your major theme, but describe it in three different ways. Hoping that if your reader maybe isn't familiar with say what a facilitator is maybe they know what an author is and so the example I use here is from my harm reduction bio it's Jasmine is a natural medicine facilitator harm reduction author and founder of the decommodify psychedelics movement and you can see with all three of those clauses, I'm essentially pointing to the same thing, the same expertise, but I'm describing it in three different ways in order to hook a broader amount of audiences. And that's really useful if your bio is gonna be seen in a lot of different contexts, say it's your social media bio or your website bio where you have folks coming in from multiple different industries or multiple contexts to meet you. You might wanna describe yourself in three different ways. Number four is to just admit right up front that you're three Three different things. And this is really common I find in newer bios as you know as we get older we amass so many different expertises and the list can honestly go on and on and on. I encourage you to limit the number of things that you claim you are in your first sentence of your bio to three things. You may at the end in a longer bio expand into more things that you also do or hobbies, but humans tend to not be able to remember more than one to three things about anybody. So to simplify it and to make your bio easier to read and easier to remember, you wanna simplify your expertises down to just three. So this example is just 
Jess is a yoga teacher, Reiki practitioner, and business coach. And if you are going for I'm three different things, try and go for terminology that most folks would understand because again, you're asking them to understand three different aspects of you. So you want to use as simple terms as possible, you know, words most people would know as opposed to something super specialized. The next template that you can use is using the, the different aspects of yourself, your different expertises to explain how and why you founded your company. So this example is, Jennifer is a leader in women's health and cannabis science. She founded Nuco Beauty Company to create organic products for women after her mother's battle with breast cancer. So you can see how we've used different methods from earlier in the video and combined them into explaining why and how she's starting this company. We're mentioning her different expertises, we're mentioning that she's a founder, and we're mentioning her why, her purpose, or what got her started in this direction. Really popular in founder bios to do all of those things if you can in the first sentence or two. The next option is to create your own terminology for what you are, to your own profession. For this example, you call this, I created my own title, so I will explain. <laughs> And the example is, Jasmine is a human programmer. She helps neurodiverse humans create routines for healthy and balanced lives. So I've created this term for myself in this context called a human programmer. You might know what a human is, you might know what a programmer is, but of course they're not usually used together in this way. And so I've got to immediately explain what that is in this context if I'm going to get this person hooked, if I'm going to get the reader of my biography to get interested in what I do. Because if I say I'm a human programmer and don't provide any other context, most people honestly are just going to ignore and forget terms that they don't understand. A lot of folks aren't going to follow follow up and ask for clarification. If you're going to use unusual terms or you're going to put usual terms together in an unusual way, you need to explain that to your reader so that they don't have to ask. Second to last template here, we're on number seven, is I will explain my job. So assuming that maybe you've invented your job or you do something that's not commonly known, you're going to state what your job is and then you're going to go a little bit into explaining what the context for that is so your reader can understand. So this example is, Jess is the founder of Nuco Cannabis Farm on a mission to provide top quality cannabis products to Californians. She is focused on regenerative cultivation with seed grown and sun grown cannabis. So that's a great example where you're learning a little bit about where they are, what their values are, um, and what their mission is and why they founded this com com company. Okay, we're finally there. Number eight, the last template for the first sentence of your bio is really just for folks who have a pretty mature career where they've mastered multiple subjects or they've just done a lot of noteworthy things. You wanna just really lay it into the bio. This is more like a movie or a film bio, for example. And this example is, Jasmine has been a leader in cannabis since founding Women Grow in 2014. You may have known her from her work at Women 2.0, TechServe, or Apple. Jasmine has encouraged over a thousand women to start cannabis businesses. Those are the eight templates that you can try to, for a really clear, exciting, evocative first sentence. All of these templates are available on my website, jasminehupp.com slash blog. Head on over, make sure to get your copy, uh, download them. You can keep these forever as you update your bio every year. If this has been useful, I would really appreciate if you'd please click the buttons below, hit that like button, and hit the subscribe. A subscribe would mean a whole lot to me now. This is a new channel and a new initiative, so every subscriber counts a whole lot. <laughs> I don't want you to miss the next video that I'm going to put out on how to structure the entirety of your bio. Because once you've got a really sweet first sentence, we're going to talk about how to then take that first sentence and create a three paragraph bio style that works for everyone, no matter if you're early in your career or quite advanced. And as a thank you for sticking around until the end, I'm going to give you as my bonus tip, the six questions that the first paragraph of your bio should answer.
And if you can get all of these answered in the first sentence or two, it's really a great way to provide your reader all of the context that they need to understand where you are in their universe and who they should connect you to. Remember, you know, this biography, it's not just for vanity. It's not to show off what you've done. What you want to do is provide context to people, provide a, a, a leg up in understanding who you are and what you're here for so that they can help connect you to the resources and the people that they know that you need. So this isn't a, a vanity exercise. This is actually an exercise in being so clear that you don't have to dig, you don't have to struggle for the connections you're looking for, those come to you, those introductions come to you easily and succinctly. And those introductions that are coming in, those folks that are trying to be introduced to you are able to see clearly like, oh yes, this is a person I wanna meet, this person's on my wavelength, this person is, is cares about the things that I care about. Now the six questions that you need to answer in the first paragraph of your bio are, who are you? What do you do? Who do you do it for? Where do you do it? When do you do it? Also known as how long have you been doing it for? And why do you do it? Thanks so much for watching. Please head over to jasminehub.com to download these templates and get more resources. And don't forget to watch the next video on how to structure your bio.